what's up? Welcome back to the Haunted Basement Studio. I'm Triple B's, your host. And in this episode, in this video, I am going to do a top five comic book covers of all time. No, not of all time, but just what I was able to find right now. This list can change from, you know, week to week, month to month, with new books and new covers always coming out, always on the lookout for. And so I was watching Backwoods Collector. He did a video last week about his top five comic book covers, and he tagged a couple people in there. He tagged what the Triangle of Truth, I Have Comic Issues, and What's in the Box. Put those right there. And so they're just gonna put out their videos, and I left him a message. He's like, Triple B, I forgot about you. Why don't you go ahead and make a video also? And I'm like, you know what? I'm in the middle of doing this crazy ass horror demon movie right now called From Black. And I wanted to step away from that and get away from that darkness of a movie and go roam through some of my boxes. And I kind of had an idea of what I wanted to pick out already. And so without further ado, let's look at some of these books that I did find. All right, I have to do throw one honorable mention up there because I am a horror channel, and this is all for all my horror fans out there. Check out Halloween Night Dance number one. This is cover D, and it is from Devil's Do Production. And that thing is awesome. I got the picture right there. Let's see. It is Halloween Night Dance, Devil Do Publishing from 2008. And it's the cover by Crash Cunningham. And that book right now on cover price is worth about 70 bucks. So hell yeah. And let's get on to the next one. All right, man. We're going to go five to one. And coming here at number five is going to be Purgatory issue number two. Volume number two from 2001. I believe I'll look at that here in a second. And let me put the picture up right there. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, that picture is freaking sweet let's zoom in a little bit on it and uh yeah that is from 2001 it's only a three dollar book so man i just love how her that stomach and then the under boob shot it is this fire i absolutely love it and i love the story of purgatory especially the this whole three volumes that dynamite just put out so let's get on to the next one and let's remember with this list that I didn't want to throw any store exclusives in it, any really high price books that you have to buy from off the shelves. Uh, pretty much just cover A's, B's, C's, you know, some variants, but something that you could actually just go and buy. It's not like a one in 100 or anything like that, because there are some really great covers out there. Kind of just wanted to pick out covers that, you know, any normal collector can, can go out and buy. And I wanted to jump around a little bit in time. So we're going to go throw back a little bit here. At number four, we got Uncanny X-Men number 290. Bam. And I got the picture right there. So, yeah, that is just a throwback nostalgia picture right there for me. That came out in 1992 with the cover art by that dude's name right there. I don't want to butcher it. And I just love this cover right here and how Storm is uh, just the rain coming down on her. You know she's making it rain. And you got to love her sticking her boobs out like that. Love it. Nostalgia brings me back to when I was a kid. Yeah, and this book is only about a $4 book. So, man, very affordable. That's what I like about different types of art what you enjoy can only be a two four dollar book all right man now coming in at number three we're gonna go with some horror comics here obviously we're gonna have lady death sacrificial annihilation and let me look at some of the bam there's the picture let me look at some of the details on this one real quick all right so lady death sacrificial annihilation from 2022 from coffin comics hell yeah this cover is by david ortiz and it's only a seven dollar book right now on cover price but man i absolutely love that cover it is stunning with the skin obviously her chest is amazing 
but that stare, this look at her, this staring you down, and those eyes. Man, I just love how those eyes look. So amazing right there. Lady Death, Coffin Comics, coming at number three. So let's get on to the next one. All right, hell yeah, man. Coming in at number two, we're going to have Vampirilla, Dracula, Unholy, issue number one. Boom, let's put the picture up there so you get better picture quality on it. I just want to show you I do have all these covers, but man, that's a lot more prettier. So let's dive into the details on this one real quick. We have, like I said, Vampirilla, Dracula, Unholy from 2021 from Dynamite Entertainment, covered by Shannon Mare. And man, probably my favorite cover artist that's working today. And the whole story and with this Dracula Unholy, it kind of fell off at the end for me, but I absolutely love the covers on it. And it was so hard for me to choose from out of all my dynamite books out up here, and especially this Shannon Mayer one right there. That's a metal cover and that thing's absolutely stunning also. But yeah, that is a sweet ass cover, wouldn't you say? So what's number one? Well, let's fucking find out. All right, dude, thank you all for waiting around for the list. And now number one is going to be an X-Men book with a Shannon Mare cover. Boom. And now let's look into some of the details on this one. This one is X-Men volume four, issue number two from 2019 Marvel Comics. The cover is by Shannon Mare. And this book is about a $90 book at a 9.8 so yeah this thing is absolutely stunning I mean if you just look at the way she's staring you down holding her claws out man the, her hair flowing in the background and the color is absolutely amazing fucking love this cover those are my top five comic book covers I want to thank Backwood Collector for letting me do this. And Jay and Sean at Triangle Truth, I want to see it. And I have comic issues and what's in the box. I got my eye on you. Can't wait to see your guys' list. Thank you all for joining me in the Haunted Basement Studio. You motherfuckers, you keep it whore. Ha <laughs> ha!